Okay, so the products I got are the Pattern Intensive Conditioner. This is for tight textures and it's supposed to add extreme moisture and restoration. I also got the detangling brush. Actually, it's the shower brush from Pattern Beauty. It detangles and helps curls find each other, AKA curl clumping, and I'm so excited. So it says that the conditioner you should apply to um, wet hair, and I'm assuming she means like after you wash it, but it's not a shampoo day for me, and I'm going to go ahead and use this conditioner like I normally would on just a regular co-wash or conditioning day. I always do it outside of the shower, and it's one of two ways. Either I am pre-pooing and then adding the conditioner directly on top of that, or I will, or I'll just like spray my hair and then put the conditioner directly on top of that, let it sit and wash it out later on. I'm going to do both of those things today in this video. I'm going to start on this side and just add my pre-poo on. I'm going to do that off camera because that's not what this video is about. So I'll be right back. I'm going to let the pre-poo sit while I go ahead and add the conditioner to the other half of my hair. And I didn't get to get the, um, I didn't get to get the hair clip. I didn't know that they had one until after I ordered. So I actually just have some regular, regular, not even as special. Nobody cares about them kind of clips. But I do plan on getting the Pattern Beauty one because it is huge. And this side is dry. I do spray it with like warm water or hot water. And um, then I start to apply my conditioner. Okay, look how thick this is. That is nice. Oh my gosh, it is so creamy. Ooh. Pattern, what are you doing with this? I'm just gonna add some more spray to just moisten it up. It's really thick and creamy, but it's not stiff. Like I can still glide this through my hair. And you can see it's already defining my curls. I've, mind you, had this same pump of product on my hands for, like, ever. I just keep going back to rub more off of the one hand and apply it inside of my open sections. Look, it's still going. I feel like it's gonna be even better on this side this pump is the most convenient thing like I don't have to pick up the bottle it's the worst when you have like your hands all messy and slippery and you have to keep picking up your bottle now your bottle is real so it's slipping all over the place so I really 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 like that this came with a pump y'all look without even detangling it Okay, okay. And on this side, which was already wet from the pre-poo, I can tell it has so much slip when your hair starts off wet. So listen to the instructions. If you're like me and you like to apply it to your dry hair, just make sure you have your spray bottle and you're gonna be adding water to it the whole time that you're applying the product because it needs that water to remain slippery and to lock that moisture in. A little bit of product on my wet hair went a long way and oh my gosh look how ah, i'm so excited i'm gonna let it sit um, with some water and a cap for probably 15 minutes let me see how long the instructions say so the back of the bottle says to um, leave it on for 10 minutes as a repair treatment mask to help restore and revitalize your curls and that's what i'm gonna do i haven't done my hair in five days anyway so why not this is the side that was dry when I applied the product. The side that I pre pooed And I'm about to rinse it a little bit and start detangling with the brush. Okay. 
is pattern beauty being serious right now look at this definition with no product in my hair fresh after washing it look at the definition look, look at that look at the little curly you're going to talk about curl pumping this perfect example of a 4b curl are you kidding me you can see my curl pattern okay and you can never see my curl pattern like you you cannot my hair just doesn't work that way but here it is since i couldn't get the leave-in conditioner i'm actually gonna see if the regular deep conditioner can double as a leave-in i like to sometimes use my conditioners as a leave-in and what i do is just mix it with aloe vera juice and oil it's exactly what i use for my pre-poo so i'm just gonna go do that now and see what that looks like <laughs> So let's get all of the questions answered. Do you need to buy this conditioner? Yes. Do you need to buy this brush? Yes. Is it worth every dime? Yes. Will it probably be sold out again if you wait any longer? Yes. The answer is yes, because seriously, this stuff is so good. Oh my gosh. This conditioner is seriously the thickest conditioner that I have ever used. And if you do it like the instructions say, which is on wet hair, you get so much slip and like glide, your curls start clumping automatically. And when you add water to it to rinse it out, it gets thicker, like foamier and frothy, kind of like a, a thick mousse almost. And it just, it's so moisturizing. It's so hydrating. I don't need to use any other conditioners ever again. I will not. The rest of them are now trash. Well, recycling, because you know your girl is trying to go waste free. But speaking of that, it's actually one of the reasons why I was really drawn to this brand. She made sure that this entire bottle and all of her bottles in the line are completely 100% recyclable, including this pump and the tube, and they're also reusable. So they have my money from go. She also made sure to use clean ingredients. They're cruelty-free, um, not vegan because she used beeswax in them, but she took the time to make sure that she was careful about what she was using, and I'm so excited about that. Also, if you haven't looked at the glossary at patternbeauty.com yet, you need to look at the glossary. It's just very reaffirming and like uplifting and it just kind of changes the way that you talk about your hair. So if you haven't already, I definitely suggest that you check that out. My hair was actually like three times fluffier and 10 times softer after I read the definitions alone. And that was before I got my hands on this product. Also, the fact that there was 4B and 4C representation all over her website, all over the Instagram page for Pattern Beauty, they were going to get my money one way or the other. Because for once, people with 4B, 4C hair didn't seem like an afterthought. Like, you had to include us to be politically correct. It seems like she wanted us to be a part of this. But the fact that she made this conditioner thick enough and moisturizing enough to hydrate the driest of dry hair, I feel like she had me in mind. Because... Let me flash back to a picture of me yesterday morning before I started this process, so y'all know it's real. What the? This product is a game changer. Do you need to buy the brush? The answer is yes. Yeah, most certainly. Because if you've ever had a brush that looks like this, where the plate is literally like coming out because that's what happens, you don't have to worry about that with this brush. It's so sturdy and like solid. And it actually feels like one of those brushes where if you're doing one of those brushes where it gets really intense in the shower and it slips out of your hand, bangs up against the shower wall and falls to the floor, when you pick it up, it's not gonna be in two pieces. And that is all that I need out of a brush. And it really did help to define my curls. It made them like pop and just spring back up in ways that they normally don't. So I think it's actually a magical wand. And this bottle is so huge, it is gonna outlive the planet at this point if you guys don't get on board and start making sure you're recycling and holding big business accountable. Really, this is a really good conditioner. It's super thick, super moisturizing, super slippery, easy to work with. My hair loved it. And I like for my braid outs to kind of look like a day three braid out on day one. So after I take them out, I'll normally go stand in like a, a steamy bathroom or something like that to help it swell. And so my hair did exactly what I wanted. It feels exactly how I want my hair to feel. 
And this was just based off of using this as a leave-in. Like, I can't imagine what the actual leave-in is like. So, of course, this weekend when they drop at Ulta, I'm gonna be there buying the leave-in conditioner, one of the serums for sure, and I'm definitely getting the clip. But anyway, at this point, thumbs up from me. If Tracy Ellis Ross needed me to shave off my hair and just give her this fro for her, her new brand, I would at this point because it belongs to them anyway. I'm gonna take my very fluffy hair out on the town and make sure that some people see me. That's what I'm gonna do.